Uh, this is history. Where we store photos has evolved with time. But that would have been a museum. But Walter Barbo doesn't need a phone, tablet, or image to remember the life that he's lived, even at his age. Well, I hate to admit it, but I'm, I'm past 98. Walt's memory is picture perfect. I grew up on a little farm, and I recall the farm tractor we had didn't even have rubber tires on the wheels. After nearly a century of time gone by, Walt still remembers moments that changed his life. I grew up in a town of Mount Vernon. I went from Mount Vernon to Seattle and joined the Army Air Corps as an aviation cadet two days after Pearl Harbor. That's a young baby-faced Walt Barbo who signed up to serve for his country in the Second World War at only 18 years old. Well, I spent uh, about a year and a half in combat in the uh, South Pacific. Flying alongside some of the greatest ace pilots to ever live in a P-38 Lightning twin-engine fighter plane. He was there at ground zero when the war finally ended. Uh, this was the uh, initial surrender group. Uh, it was two aircraft. I'm, I'm one of the thousands that appear in this picture. Four engineering degrees later, Walt is still in the sky. I wanted to stay in flying. I, I'd just done anything to stay in flying forever. A pilot of his own plane, he still flies once a week. It still fulfills one desire to keep flying, but it keeps you on top of technology as well. So when Walt had the chance to be on a plane headed for Washington, he couldn't pass it up. On a lark, I just sent my name in. He was chosen to be on the Rocky Mountain Honor Flight last month, a trip to see the memorials paying homage to his service that he'd never seen before. It was elegant, it was large and immense. Uh, uh, <clears throat> just how much time they put into that. Statues and structures built to stand the test of time, the Honor Flight brings living history to see the monuments that will honor them for centuries to come. It might be kind of a lasting memory many of them before they're no longer with us. Walt Barba, what a man, incredibly sharp. He's uh, been on this trip. He said it was fantastic, amazing. He couldn't believe the amount of thought that went into these monuments when he got to Washington, D.C. So the biggest expense here is the flights. Uh, the pandemic has increased the price of those, so that's one of the biggest expenses this year. Uh, they also say that they haven't been able to do this in the last uh, two years because of the pandemic. Uh, eight trips have been canceled, so this is a big fundraiser that they're trying to put on here today to get some money so they can send more of these vets, 25 of them, plus uh, some guardians as well. Uh, 25 guardians, rather, 30 veterans are going to go. So it's an awesome time for them. Let's keep those money rolling in here. There's a number on the screen there that you can call in. They'll answer the phones, take your donations. You can also go to our website, 9news.com, and also donate there as well. But uh, Walt Barba, I could not believe that he still flies a plane at 98 once a week. Mm -hmm. Incredible. He, he's, he's amazing. I he mean, he looks look terrific, it. for sure. Yeah, he does not look 98 at oh all. Oh, my goodness. Doesn't sound a day over 60 years old. Yeah. Yep. And John, you know, I've, I've done some uh, stories on Honor Flight too, and and those those veterans that go, they are so humble. They 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 wouldn't admit that. Oh, thank you for sending us. You know, but I mean, they're, they're appreciative, but they wouldn't admit that they are heroes, and and they absolutely are. And and when you go to the memorials, that's what really comes out. Absolutely, and you know what else too, in talking with some of the organizers here, they say that they would like to group them into the types of combat that they were in so that mm. they could, you know, have some camaraderie too. A lot of them haven't met each other, so when they go on this trip, not only are they getting to see these monuments, but they're also going with people that have, you know, served in a similar way. Right. So they build that bond, they build mm -hmm. that friendship, and. And as, you know, sadly, a lot of them, this is some of the, their final trip to Washington. So, yeah. um, you know, there's that start of it as well. But for a lot of them, it's, it's a, just a moment of joy and uh, to see and pay homage to what they've done for this country. Absolutely. Well, hopefully we'll raise a lot of money for them today. Thanks a lot. And a reminder, Rocky Mountain Honor Flights is planning trips to Washington, D.C. after, as John said, a couple of years off because of COVID. We need your help. They take veterans to see the monuments dedicated to their service, no cost to the vets. You have two options to help. One, you can scan the QR code on the screen right now. That'll take you to the donation page. Or if you like to speak to someone instead, just call the number on your screen, 303-577-2080, and you'll be connected to uh, somebody up there in the phone bank. We will keep the phones on till 7 p.m. tonight.